hello everyone and welcome to the channel i just stumbled upon this new tool called as prefect and this sounds really interesting especially when it comes to monitoring and actually observing what is happening behind our agentic workflows prefect is a tool which is a workflow orchestration framework for building data pipelines in python it doesn't have to be with AI powered applications, by the way, if you have any sort of data pipelines from end to end, then you can simply embed this prefect to observe what is happening behind the scene and how the workflow is being orchestrated. It's the simplest way to elevate a script into a resilient production workflow. With prefect, you can build resilient dynamic data pipelines that react to the world around them and recover from unexpected changes. With just a few lines of code, data teams can confidently automate any data process with features such as scheduling, caching, retries and event-based automations. Workflow activity is tracked and can be monitored with a self-hosted Prefect service instance or even their managed cloud, but we are going to install our own self-hosted prefect server in this video and then we will see with a simple python script how exactly it works you would need python 3.9 in order to run it and as i'm just going to do this without any ai involved so you really don't need any model or anything but you can very easily embed it into your agentic workflows and i will also soon be doing another video where i will show you how you can embed it within your agentic workflows okay so before i show you the installation and to see how it works let me give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring this vm which also comes with a gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of a gpu so do check them out this is my Ubuntu system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy mass compute. And as I said, this is AI agnostic topic so you really don't need any GPU for this. Let me create a virtual environment with the help of Conda and I'm using Python 3.11 and as I mentioned, make sure that your Python version is larger than 3.9. I would highly suggest go with either 3.9. 11 or 3.12 let's wait for this conda environment to get created it takes a bit of a time sometimes so let's be patient with it so my conda environment is created let me also install prefect i'm just simply using pip install and with capital u to upgrade any existing version let's wait for it to finish this is going to install few things here All the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen and now let me show you the python code and how you can use the prefix so i'm just going to go into this directory which i just created here let me clear the screen i have just created a simple python code which is mycode.py let me open it in the vs code let's wait for this vs code to load so this is my vs code it's a very simple code where I am just importing this prefect which we have just installed and then I have defined two decorators here. One decorator is task and the other decorator is flow. A decorator is a small function in Python that takes another function as an argument and extends its behavior without permanently modifying it. Decorator allows you to wrap a function or method with additional functionality such as logging authentication or caching without altering its source code so there are two function get stars and github star so i have sort of changed their um, functionality without even modifying it now you see that task is where we define a task which needs to be done and we embed it into a flow it is as simple as that and then we are simply using this flow and task from prefect so the prefect would know that what it needs to be done in order to make sure that it gets it orchestrated and towards the end all i'm doing it i'm just giving it a um, schedule for the workflow so that we have turned it into a sort of deployment 
and we are asking it to run every minute by changing the uh, last line of this code where I have just defined this cron schedule that it will run every minute and this is just a, a schedule in the Linux or the cron world this is how we use it so this is my code okay so let's go back here now let me run this code in this window and in the other window we are going to start our prefect local server so you see that my python code is running here and it is waiting for me to run my deployment which is my program so maybe i'll just go with this one and then click here maybe we will open a new window here and from here i'm just going to run this prefect server start so let me run it and wait for it to launch and now we can access it on our local host i think i would need to also maybe install alchemy let me check or we'll just go up and try to open it in the browser to see how it works let's try out this 4200 port and there you go you can see you can ignore that uh, warning for now but you can see that here this is the flow which is running it has failed i think it was unable to access uh, github from this one that is why we got that error but that is fine uh, but you can see that how cool it looks in terms of um, our code and this is a github star which it is giving error so it is right as per our own application also you can of course upgrade to their cloud which is a paid option which you can use but we are not going to do that and then you can check out your flow runs how many runs have been done here this is a one this is a one which we ran it also gives you the time here and then um you can check out your flows these are the flows so this is the flow which is failing at the moment because of our i think I, it can't connect to github i haven't authenticated with the github and these are the deployments and this looks so familiar to kubernetes deployment by the way anyway so you see i have scheduled it every minute so that is why there are two executions at the moment and then these are the work pool which you can prioritize and manage deployments to run accordingly and these are the few blocks so blocks basically they store your cred credential and all the configuration so if you have other integrations and by the way if you go to their cloud they have i think hundreds of integration with other um, uh, software which i haven't checked because i just want to focus on the open source and free version i think if we just embed it into our own application we should be good to go and then there are a lot of other things which you can check out with your notification if you're running it in the cloud maybe you can integrate it with some service like aws sns or something like that and then similarly you can go with uh, you can set up your concurrency limit how many uh, concurrent workflows you wanted to run and these are few of the settings which you can manage and of course you can change your theme to here but i think darker dark one is good enough so this is our dashboard you see it is now three because it is running every minute and that is why it is just uh, showing you your flow going back to this code the point here is that if you look at this code it's very simple all we have done is we have added these decorators after importing it from prefect so if you have any pythonic application uh, which deals with your data pipeline from end-to-end -end flow you can simply use these decorators after importing prefect and then you will have your own local prefect server where you can have this sort of dashboard where you can graphically check the status of your workflows so really cool as i said i will be doing another video where i will embed this prefect into an ai powered application or agentic software and because these agents in ai they work asynchronously so it will be really cool to see how it shows me the gui and all these runs and flows for those agents so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i will drop the link to this repo in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching